What's up, Scrollgers? It's an ERP here. And we're gonna play against Net Magpie Man, and we're gonna use Late Game Growth. I saw, I'm not sure who commented in a couple videos ago, uh, that they wanted to see uh, an old school growth deck, and I with wolves and stuff, and this is kind of an old school growth deck with wolves. Kind of. Some new cards. And. Luckily, Magmi Magpie Man is here to play with me. Uh, I actually have a perfect curve up. So, let's use that. Um, oh, sorry. I think that was duelist music in the background. By the way, guys, I highly encourage you to check out my duelist series if you haven't um, I'm gonna actually get rid of the kinfolk brave and just frost scale because kinfolk brave against decay is pretty worthless especially in this deck where I have no enchantments to buff it back up after a languid it could be brain license killed in two turns it could be soul stolen so yeah but yeah my duelist videos have not been getting as many views as my scrolls videos so I'm going to use this as an opportunity to tell you all to watch them and play duels if you don't because it's a really really fun game. Board aspect uh, like scrolls. Um, I, I looked at some various stuff and uh, it seemed interesting. I thought like the actual screen of the game I didn't really didn't look that attractive to me. Reminded me of kind of like Spellweaver, which I, I thought was like a very like, the screen just had a lot of like stuff going on. That, I think that also has a board. Well, this kind of sucks because he can just move down and kill me. I'll put the brother behind here. And next turn, probably sacrifice whatever I get for scrolls and play the brother. We'll see. If he damn curses any of my units, he will lose his Myra Shambler. Looks like he's playing Undead Decay, though, so I don't think there will be a damn curse. Undead Decay versus Late Game Growth. A matchup for the ages. Flesh animator, yep, definitely undead decay. Uh, fertile soil. No, I'm not gonna fertile soil. I can't really afford to get behind here. So let's get rid of the fertile soil for our cards. Hmm. Nognest. It's not using all my resources efficiently, but protects against the Slayer Vestige. Yeah, I'll do that, but otherwise he can just kill this with a Brain Lice. Nognus it is. And a Verdant Remnant. For next turn, maybe it's a nice big protection. God, I miss scrolls. He makes me so happy. I really enjoy the scrolls music now. I used to not enjoy it that much, but without uh, hearing it for so long, it just feels right, you know? Can't get too attached again now, though, because won't be here for much longer and that's why I'm giving duelist another hard push and to be honest it looks like it has like maybe the brightest future of like the game the other card games that uh X scrolls players are migrating towards which it's kind of hard for me to make a name for myself in that community though because it's already like kind of saturated but I'm doing my best. I 
there's a conduit. Okay. So, Kinfolk Veteran actually is a great draw, I think. Let's get rid of the Rose of the Wolf and play the Kinfolk Veteran. That's going to make this attack. I can use that to kill this. I use a Veteran to kill a Slayer Vestige and use a Ragged Wolf to kill the Mire Shambler. That sounds like a plan. I can play the Verdant Remnant next turn. Kaboom. He will have a few, uh, a few of those things though. Three of those things actually. So my, maybe I should have rearranged so that I would be destroying a revenant instead of his Meyer Shambler. Sure, that probably would have been better. Could I have done that? I think so. Well, we'll be able to go. Oh no. That is not good. Not good at all. Uh, let's just sacrifice the God Hand right away. I would usually play the card that's drawing me a card. But. Or maybe I'll play this now because I might draw like a. Hey, what's it called? You know. That, um. Thing. But if I drew a Great Wolf right now, I'd want to play that. I'll sack for scrolls. It's gonna be a. Verdant Remnant right now. What do I draw? Kinfolk Brave. Okay, let's hope that um, he doesn't have a soul steel. Yeah, he has a soul steel. I mean, that's kind of a uh, should be expected. Hmm. I could fill up my board towards the top. Now I'm going to sacrifice the mangy for cards. Another Verdant Remnant. Considering displaying this. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Right in the middle there. Just to hold him off. I'm looking for a quake now. Because if I want to clear this board, I'll need more than just a frost scale. Though the frost scale would go a long way. Think about it now, I probably should have done frost scale tearing brute last turn. Yeah, I think that would have been for the best. Macro Man's probably not sure what he wants to do here. He wants to keep flooding the board with units, knowing that I probably have a Quake. Because he already saw the turn 2 Frost Scale, so he knows this is more of a late game, late game deck. Should know that also from my Burnant Remnants. What do they what do they used to call these cards again in scrolls? Where you play it and you get a card. I forgot. Like pothers and stuff like that. What do they used to call those? I can't really bring the word to my uh, mouth right now. I'm running out of time, what's this play? Infested husk. Okay. And now, I'm gonna frost scale. Because I wanna keep this alive so we can draw a card from it. I will frost scale and 
Nognest and Kinfolk Brave. Get rid of the Sister of the Owl. Because, yeah. Actually, let's not play the Brave. We don't want to get Soul Stolen. So we do a Frost Scale. And then I play, I think, a Brute. Yeah. Or the Nognest. Let's just play the Nognest. I think we can get by just like playing cards like that. Because he hasn't done any idle damage. We're not in any rush to start putting units on the board. Next turn. I could play the Sister of the Owl if I want. Don't know if I'll want to. Maybe I should just play the Tearing Brute because I would be able to attack this coming turn because of the Rat King. Or no, it wouldn't be a turn, but it's five countdowns, so it would be close to attacking. Well, the Brute Brave would would make it closer to attacking and put more pressure on his board. Yeah, I regret doing this play now. Being gritty, gearing towards the late game a little too hard. I could really just go for the taking back board control right now. Was this the L buffed? I remember it being a two five and not three five. In this in its last reincarnation. Rot Eater, and that's going to be all. We got another Frost Scale. I guess I'll Frost Scale. A Frost Scale Ragged Wolf would kill that. And the Sister will deal less damage here. So a Frost Scale, Ragged Wolf is three. And then if we want to play, do we just want to go for the big things now? I'm gonna get rid of the Sister of the Owl. That costs six, right? I'll go for scrolls. Rallying, eh. Yeah, let's do this. We haven't drawn another Quake yet, which is kind of annoying. Frost scale, Terrain Brutes, Ragged Wolf, and hope that the uh, poison goes on the Ragged Wolf. Oh well, it didn't. And we can make. Can we make everything attack next turn? Yes, we can. With a Kinfolk Brave Rally, we can have our entire board attack. No, we wouldn't have our entire board. Our Nognes would just go off with that. Which might be might be what we want to do, because we'd be able to get the Siren Brute to attack, and the Ragged Wolf, and the Brave. And get another card from our Rodent Remnant. That is what I hope to accomplish. Pretty, uh, it's probably gonna be a longer game, so it might be the only game of this video. Sorry about that, I know some of you like the uh, lengthiness of the last video. I've been holding on to that racking for a while. Probably shouldn't have done that so long. He is keeping pace kind of in resources. But I don't know if he has much of a chance in the long term of this game, considering Undead Decay versus me. He really has to. Uh, he's going to do a Restless Bones now. So he's going to go ahead and clear the row. 
and scares me a little bit. I guess he has like more restless bones on the way. Well, I'll go for a fertile soil here. And I do have a quake now. So next turn I would quake, but I don't want this to get like ginormous. That's the only problem. Let's get rid of the sister of the owl. For should I go for cards looking for the third frost scale? No, I want to ramp up. Let's go for resources. Get rid of the rally. Sure. That's only my first rally. I'll go ahead and knock this down a little bit. And that'll be my turn. We're taking some long turns. Sorry, it's sorry if it's boring. He's probably expecting a frost scale quake. Well, frost scale wouldn't actually even do a whole lot. I'd rather him just destroy my Ragnarok instead of putting 5 damage on an idol. Mm. We have one more Quake in the deck after this card and one more Frost Scale, I believe. Before the deck recycles. He goes for scrolls. He's gonna deal idle damage and a flesh dude. Okay, it's time to quake. I don't want a uh, what's it called happening. And a frost scale wouldn't help this turn, so I don't even have to sacrifice for scroll looking for a frost scale. And I already sacrificed two sisters, so I may as well just get rid of the third, right? <laughs> Go for cards. God hand. That's fun. Maybe I'll go for a veteran. I don't want this thing to be huge. I'll just go for the quake now. Quake. And I'll put a brave right in the middle here. I doubt I'm going to be able to kill that with a veteran. I'm getting kind of worried because he's able to. Magma's done a really good job of having enough resources. There's a harvester. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of the. Hmm. Do I want to get rid of the god hand? Probably not. Wish I could, wish I could play more. Let's get rid of the Kinfolk veteran. Actually no, I kind of want a veteran that. Let's get rid of the god hand. Ugh. Why am I doing this? I'm messing up. Okay. I think I'm going to have veteran ragged wolf down there. Seems to make sense to me. Don't want that harvester surviving. 
and this coming turn I can go to 8, play the brother and the rat king. Hopefully I can redraw that god hand, it was actually a mistake <laughs> sacrificing that I think. Not the smartest thing I could have done. So many cards I want to play, but I don't have enough mana yet. Or not mana, resources. I'm calling a mana from Duelist. Smart to play the Rot Eater and then Packa. So that was actually a pretty good turn for him. Okay, we really have to fill up the board. Do a rallying. And I'm going to. I kind of want to get rid of this right now because it's undead and can hurt me. I will refrain though, I'm going to fill up the board. So let's move up. Let's play our Rat King. And our Brother of the Wolf. Next turn, who knows what's in store. I really hope I topped a good god hand. <laughs> really hope that happens. I could play a veteran. If I get rid of the um, Verdant Runner for cards, I don't think I have any Crimson Bulls in this deck, which is kind of annoying. If I did, then I would have a. It would be very good for me. I think uh, if these end, I'm not attacking. Did they just be a lot of fodder? Soul Steel, and I'm afraid I'm not going to be able to clear his board. I'm getting very worried. Let's I mean What's a run remnant gonna do at this point? Should I play the veteran? I gotta deal damage. Yeah, I'll get rid of the remnant. Should I get rid of the sister? Quake. So we do have a Quake now. Do I play the Quake this turn? That's the thing. He's going to get one giant Rot Eater. And... I'm not going to really know what to do then. Sure, I'll quake. Well, this is not looking too good. <laughs> happy with how I've played this game. I should have went for, uh, really went for it before and tried to clear his board. Putting them instead of the Nognas before, maybe the Brave and the and the uh, Tyrene Brute. But, can't take it back now. This is looking like a loss. He's done a very good job of using his Harvesters and Rot Eaters to survive. And now I have no more quakes, I think. No more quakes uh, in this deck cycle, which is ending soon, but by then he might win the game. And I'll get Dominion this turn. 
So he is gonna, yeah, he is gonna. Is he gonna let my brother survive? No, I didn't think he would. And there's another harvester. Okay, let's see if we could. Let's see if I can maintain the middle of the board here. If I can do that, I might have a chance. Uh, I need creatures. This is Vernon Remnant what I want? Not really. I do want to kill that though. So I kill that with the veteran and then I sacrifice the scrolls hoping for something to play. What do I sacrifice? I guess I'll sacrifice the Vernon. Ooh, double great wolf. Do I play the great wolf up front? And just hope. Yeah, I think so. And I use the Nognas right now to uh, to protect. I'm gonna try not to have any creatures die right now. Because when things die, the harvester counts down. The harvesters. I need to build up a board to God hand. Great wolves will do the trick, and actually all three great wolves look like they're coming at the very end of the deck, which is kind of unlucky, but I guess I could use them now. I feel like I have this whole game I've been stuck at one less resource than I need. Like, I'd love to go to 10 to play those two, but I can't. At least with structures, Decay really is. I, I know that Magma Man probably doesn't have anything to deal with it. So. I'm in a good spot. I hope he doesn't move down and threaten me. I assume he will. Hopefully, he's scared of my Great Wolf and doesn't. But. I think he might. So I'm more scared of his harvesters than he is scared of my, my Great Wolf, probably. Okay, is he just going to leave one open there? And a conduit down there. Okay. Well, Jarl. Ooh, Jarl. Inspiring plus two attack. World's countdown is set to zero after attacking. Well, I don't really want to kill that, so I think I'm just gonna attack there. Cause it doesn't really. I don't want to lose any creatures. I could veteran that. Now let's get rid of this rat king. That's pretty good. Let's see. I do have a rally. Rallying. Okay, I don't think he's going to be able to do anything too crazy to me. I'll put the Jarl in front. We're going to limit things dying. So next turn, let's see what I can do. I could do a Rat King Rally, but I'm not going to do anything then unless I'm at least killing probably the Harvesters. At least the Rod Eater with its tentacle attack. You can kill anything in one shot, but it can only kill one thing at a time. Harvesters are very scary. Very scary indeed. Okay, I made a game out of this. I'm probably going to want to go for resources next turn so I can go Great Wolf Rat King just to fill up my board. If nothing on the board is dying, then I can place units probably faster than he can. And he his attacks aren't that strong. 
his one strong attack. So I think my best bet here is not to kill anything. Like anything. <laughs> and just wait. Try to wait this out. Like my my biggest fear is he has like some kind of Erva Restless Bones play. I don't think he has that. Oh no. He had that. Oh, well that kills my that hurts <laughs> a lot I have double great wolf but that's not really gonna help me at this point we don't have a lot of options here we're just gonna go for uh... actually I have to get rid of one of the great wolves now I'd love to have more great wolves but can't really now let's hope there's no Irva and I'm going to another restless bones. I'm probably dead. Oh, that's going to make him actually kill something, which I don't want to happen when I play this. Oh well. It's gonna have to happen then. And let's hope just no Russell's Bones or no Soul Steel. <laughs> no Russell's Bones or Soul Steel. He has one of those cards, I'm dead. Because then his harvester goes off. He kills more things. And it's just bad news. Ideally next turn I top deck a Kinfolk Brave or a Ragged Wolf that I can combine with the with the God Hand. If he can't kill my creature this turn, I'm in this game. If he doesn't have a Soul Steel or a restless bones next turn. I am a survivor. For at least a little bit maybe. I think. I hope. Because two great wolves going off with two five two six attack great wolves should be able to kill one to two of his three big threats. Okay, yes. That makes me so happy to see that harvester move up. That means Mega Man does not have anything. To do that. Okay. And I assume he's going to kill the three rats. Oh, he's going to be able to kill a wolf, though, I think. Will he kill a wolf? Yeah, he kills a wolf. Okay, I'm dead. Nothing I can do here. <laughs> GG. I was holding on to a sliver of hope, but that kills one of the wolves, which I can't really... Can't really deal with. I had, like, poster resistance or something that I'm in it, but... Sadly, I do not. Um... Get rid of this. Uh... If I go for nothing I could do. GG. Good fertile soil, but yeah, he has to win either way. GG WP. Very long game. And it sadly results in a loss. I don't know if it was very well played on my part. I think it was very well played on his part. He was able to survive um, the Quakes and Frost Scales. Knowing what kind of deck I was playing, he valued his units like Rod Eaters and Harvesters. 
and I made some questionable decisions at best towards the middle of the game. GG. So uh, that's going to be it for today's video. Um, sorry for my poor performance. Uh, but thanks for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more content. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.